Hey guys, it's Justin. So today we're talking about binding. Um, I promised this video about a week and a half ago, and it's just it's just been crazy with like work and stuff. So I haven't been able to really put it up. But um, so yeah, today we're gonna talk about binding practices and stuff, and um, hopefully give you guys uh, and and any of y'all that identify as non-binary and bind as well, uh, just a good idea of of how to bind safely. Uh, what are the best binders out there? What not to bind with? Uh, how to wash your binders? Uh, to care for them? Stuff like that. Uh, when it's time to get a new binder or something like that uh, because you know these this is definitely something that um, I've seen be like a huge problem within uh, the community uh, that binds as well so um, definitely wanted to give you some pointers on that so here we go alright so um, I bind a couple different ways um, one is more of a controversial method because a lot of people don't know how to do it correctly it's uh, with KT tape um, which I use three strips on each side. Um, now I was, uh, and I, I don't think I've talked about this before, I was a D cup before I started testosterone uh, two years ago. And um, I still haven't had top surgery, so I'm, I'm still binding and stuff. And it was definitely, ugh, oh, it was terrible. Um, so yeah, but in fact today I'm actually using KT tape. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys oh, a little bit about like how to do that safely. So, um, if you can see here, um, I use one uh, that's gonna go like one's gonna go under right here, one's gonna go across right here, um, that's gonna go on top of this one that comes down and around. Uh, so, I use three and I do the same thing on that side, and um, there you go. So, it's actually uh, a very good way for me to get flat because I have been on testosterone for so long that. It's not really a big issue um, anymore. So it's like, um, and I'll show you what it looks like, kind of like when I'm standing up and stuff. So like, um, you know, like it's not, it's not that bad. Um, you know, when I have a shirt on, nobody no really notices and stuff. And I'm um, sorry, I haven't been working out lately. I uh, fractured my elbow a little bit, so you know, whatever. Uh, so I haven't been out there being able to like lift and stuff and uh, work on my abs and stuff, but. Um, okay, so anyway, so I use that method a lot. Um, now, that method uh, is, a, is very controversial. Um, it's more or less recommended for people that are smaller chested, so like A-cups, um, uh, definitely A-cups, you know, that's, that's, because they can use, I think, one, one strip, um, sometimes two, but mostly one strip and be fine. Um, and B-cups, like smaller B-cups and stuff, so, um, you know, that's, that's that, but you don't, but the reason a lot of people mess it up is because it's like and the reason why it hurts so many people is because like it's so when you leave it on uh that's when it's like that's when it's the best so i leave mine on for about a week until it starts peeling at the corners um and then when i get in the shower is when i actually start working on like pulling it off which it by that time like a week it's literally like it falls right off um, that's that's the only way to not damage your skin with that also cover your nipples I am very guilty of not covering my nipples uh, but I also don't shave my chest hair so um, you know I still I've got my little hair going on down there and everything but um well not down there that's not at all hairy at all but anyways that's beside the point that's another video but um yeah so leave it on uh, if you're gonna get the KT tape and you want to leave it on for more than a week um, then I would suggest the KT Tape Pro. Um, the, it comes in all different colors. I use nude just for personal reasons because, you know, like when I take it off, uh, when I take off my shirt or something, when I get home, I don't really want to, like, you know, have, an, have more dysphoria of that or whatever. But, um, so yeah, that's, that's one method you can use. Um, if you have questions about that KT Tape, like, method, then just please, uh, ask me a question now and, and I'll definitely, like, I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to do like a video or at least post step-by-step -step instructions on how to, how to place it, like when you're not, like just when I'm like freeballing it, I guess, you know, and um, just, but it's, it's, it's very simple for me at least, but if you're bigger than I am, because I'm now down to a B, um, then I wouldn't recommend the KT tape approach. So the second approach that you're going to have is um, an actual binder, okay, so like, uh, GC2B, they are my favorite, my all-time favorite uh, binding company, and um, they are this right here. So this is the nude, uh, the full tank, and they have half tanks. They've got um, they've got several different options on their website. Um, in fact, Renatus eventually wants to work with them, like partner with them, because they they are honestly the best 
the brand. And um, if you look on our on our uh, Facebook page, I did a poll, and and it's it's still going on. So if you want to go on there and, and add your vote uh, between Underworks and GC2B, just what works best for you, um, then please please do so because that's gonna help us, uh, you know, figure out which company we want to strictly go with. Um, for when we start providing binders for you know kids and and you know people that don't that can't necessarily afford uh, one full price, so um, go on to the Facebook and do that poll for me. It'd be great. Just let me know which one works best for you. Um, GC two B. So this one's basically like uh, it's got like this little like strap on the inside, so that goes around your back, um, and it's very hard for me to put it on right now with with this thing on. So I'm not gonna actually do that and then take it off or whatever. Show you, but. Yeah, I would suggest like um, measuring yourself and like whatever bra says that you would wear. Um, you're gonna, t you're gonna, you're basically gonna have that size. Um, so like for me when I, for me now I'm a B cup and this is a I think s small, and it was it was actually super small when I got it. But now that I've lost more weight, this is an X small. So I would actually recommend for like a B cup you'd go with small and an A cup X small. Um, but again, different body types call for different, you know, different sizes and stuff. So yeah, so that's uh, GC2B. It's great. This one's lasted me a, like a year and a half, almost. Two, well, actually, no, almost two years. And um, only now, the stitching is starting to come out a little bit. But it's, st I mean, there's, it's not, it's not tearing or anything. So it, it's again almost two years. I need to get a new one. But um, but yeah, it lasts a long time. Also, um, there are body binders. Uh, which I actually used for a good while. Um, and this one is a small. You can get this off of Amazon. Um, it's it's basically like an entire, and it has like this little zipper in the back for your ass to pop out, so you can take a shit, you know. Um, and this is where I would like hold my packer in. Um, but like it's a full entire bodysuit, and um, you literally just like put it put it on, and um, you slide it up like you step in it. Uh, that's how you get it done. And, and this actually worked for me for a while, um, but. I I didn't really care for it that much, but it was, it was really the only one I could afford. It was super cheap. It was like 19 bucks when I got it. Um, so that one was that. And uh, again, I can, I'll post a link to this one. Um, if they still even have it, God, I got it like three years ago. Um, I haven't worn it that much. Um, in fact, I mean, it's, it's a small, if, if anyone wants it, I mean, just hit me up because I don't, I haven't worn it in like, God, like a year and a half. And I've only worn it, to, I think, like when I cosplay events and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so those are the main binders that, that I have. Um, I've got an Underworks one somewhere, and it, it does work. It, it works pretty good. Um, it's more or less because they have different materials, um, and this is an older version, I think, so it's like a, it's a white one. Um, it's kind of heavy, so I'd recommend it for, like, a colder climate. I live in Florida, so it's like, you know, I mean, I, I live in Florida. So, you know, it's like uh, it's kind of hot down here, so I wouldn't recommend, like, the heavier fabrics. Kind of look for something that's going to be nylon. Um, something that's not going to be like a thicker cotton, which is what that one is, but it, it works great. I mean, like that's, that's one that I would wear, like if I go back up to Virginia and visit my family. Um, now let's talk about, uh, ace bandages. So you're going to take your ace bandage, right? And you're going to unroll it and you're going to look at it and then you're going to throw it in the trash because you should never, ever, ever, ever use an ace bandage to bind, okay? Because it can not only cause you like major health problems like with your ribs and with your lungs and being able to breathe and stuff, it could potentially ruin your chances of a really good top surgery and stuff. Because some people like, if um, if it does damage your ribs or it damages your chest in any way, uh, some top surgeons will not perform that on you. So just be aware of that. And if you can't, I mean, if any of you can't afford a binder and you think that that's your only option, reach out to myself, uh, reach out to someone else, you know, in the community if you can't get a hold of me, uh, and God, we'll see what we can do about getting you a binder because that's, you know, that's, I, I don't want anyone out there feeling like that's the only option that they have because it's definitely not, and yeah, it's expensive, but once you have a good one, then, you know, it's going to last for a while. Um, so yeah, even the ones that are like the, uh, self-adhesive ones, I would not recommend that at all because I mean again take it throw it in the trash a cups take it throw it in the trash everyone else take it throw it in the trash so no 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 on ace bandages so um, but yeah the how now now if you want to go ahead and talk about like how to take care of your binders that you do have if you have one um, basically, like, I hand wash mine. Um, if I'm super lazy, then I'll throw it in the wash. 
I just throw it in there on cold, uh, like just a regular gentle cycle. Um, and then gen either, you know, if I get, if I'm super lazy, I'll throw it in the dryer and that does cause it to shrink. Um, so I don't recommend that, uh, you know, but hand washing it, um, I'll take it like this and I'll literally just like, uh, run it under hot water for until it's soaked, uh, take some soap. Uh, I usually use shampoo actually. Um, not even like the hard like dial soap or whatever. I, I just, I use my shampoo and, um, just put a little bit on there, lather it up, uh, you know, get everything whatever, ring it a couple times, you know, like ring it, make sure you get all the soap out, all shampoo out, whatever you're using, um, and then I'm, I hang it up, like I'll take um, like a coat hanger or something, put it through, and hang it up on like a towel rack or even the um, the shower curtain rod to dry, and um, leave it overnight, like I, I would do it at night, and um, it'll be dry by the time you get in the morning, so that's how to really take care of your binder, um, because hand washing is going to make it last longer. Uh, and that's something that I've personally experienced, not only, you know, that they say that on the site, but yeah, I've definitely noticed that, uh, you know, as, as well for myself personally. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the gist of today's lesson about, like, uh, you know, proper binding techniques, how to take care of your binder. If you guys have questions, uh, please hit me up. Um, even send me a Facebook message uh, from our page. You know, I, I had four uh, safety reasons. Unfortunately, I had to take down my personal page. But um, I'm still managing uh, Renatus uh, on our on our Facebook page, so just go ahead and uh, hit me up on there. Uh, comment, you know, like if you have any questions or whatever, and I'll be sure to answer as soon as I can. So um, see you guys on the next lecture. Lecture. The next lecture is going to be about packing, and um, that's going to be really fun because I get to show you all my penises, which I'm sure you've seen a little bit of them above my head. But um, yeah, so but yeah, uh, those are only a couple of mine. So I'm going to get the rest together and. Uh, throw a shirt on maybe and, and do it a little bit but um but definitely so go ahead and uh like and subscribe to keep up with the updates if you guys have questions um if any of you want to see me do a particular lecture on something else just hit me up and ask me to do it and i'll see what i can do all right take care guys peace out